Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today's video, we're going to be doing a review of DC Collectibles, uh, Batman The Avengers Continuum by DC. And we're going to be reviewing on Deathstroke, better known as Slade. So therefore, we're going to get a closer look on him. And you can see that uh, I picked them up on eBay with a total of $40 free shipping, which is a good deal. So therefore, I'm... Um, I'm looking forward to picking up with this because, you know, I do not have a Deathstroke whatsoever. But as you know, um, it's my one of my all-time fairy villains ever when he fought Robin from Teen Titans. But I'm super excited to have him. So we're definitely going to unbox him and we're going to get a closer look. So let's, let's get to it, you guys. Alrighty, guys. So now we got him out of the box. So let's get a closer look on his accessories. So right here you have um, the accessory right here, Batman from the animated series. So we're going to get a closer look on what he has and what he comes with whatsoever. So just to see the best to make sure we have every single one of them. Oops, and there goes that stroke. So let's see what we have here. We do not have him. Gray Ghost. He's very hard to again. And then we do not have the Robot Batman. Scarecrow, he's very... Very expensive, but I did pick him up from. But I am I did place an order of him at um, on eBay on the of, of the new Batman adventures. So we're gonna de definitely review him. Two Face, we already have him from the new Batman adventures. Bane, I already have him. But be sh guys, be sure to comment down if you want me to do a comparison with the other Bane, so I can do a review. And then you have here Killer Croc. If you wanted me to do a comparison with Killer Croc from this one, then please leave a comment down below. And then we have Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy. And then we have like an, uh, uh, a joint Batman there. And then right here we have Red Hood, which we already have. And then we have, I don't know, El Razel. I don't know who he is, but we have Harley Quinn and then the Joker. And then Super Armored Batman. And then we have Deathstroke already. But we do not have Robin. But if you do want me to pick up Robin. Please leave the comments down below. So I could do a, a review with the new Batman Adventures of Tim Drake Robin. But yeah you guys. So yeah this is what we're here. And we're definitely going to for sure to see if anybody will be honored. It will be interested if anything whatsoever. But let's take a look at the accessories first. The first one we have here is his gun. So you can see that the gun, they did a great job on it from DC Collectibles. This is Deathstroke's gun. It's kind of like similar to the Joker one, but the Joker's gun is a little bit smaller. Along, and then we do have the Two-Face gun also, but the gun um, is a little bit different because I think Two-Face gun is more bigger than this one whatsoever. But then we do have an unchangeable hands. We do have the one where he can hold the gun easily, where he's pointing the gun whatsoever, so... And then we do have some spendable hands, so that way, in case if he wants to grab something or hold on to something whatsoever. And then last but not least, uh, we do have um, something to hold on, probably his knife. But I'm not going to do that because, you know, I've seen other videos where the, one of the swords broke, and I was not looking forward to that. But you can see here's his sword, so that way he can fight whatsoever. And then you have his little sword right here, so therefore, it looks kind of great. And then last but not least, uh, we do have the head. So this is a nice one, a really nice head head sculpt. Really like how they did a good job. And he looks like an old guy. So and then he has an eye patch. So it's really cool to see. Well, yeah, you guys. So we're now definitely gonna review now him. So let's get to it, you guys. Alrighty, guys. So now we got him. So let's take a look what he is. So let's see the arms go up and down. So they did a good job with the arms, and then the head looks great. The details on it, and then you can see uh, there's his eye bald. You can see really closely the eye joint, if you could tell. Yeah, it looks really creepy. And it looks good on it. And then the mask, uh, he does have great changeable hands and then heads. And then you can see his legs can move sideways also. And then, yeah, so therefore, um, this one is a little bit loose, but then the feet is a little bit bent. You could tell right, right away from there, the bent in the feet. But I will be able to fix it. But um, the accessories, um, um, it looks good. And then the back of it for to hold a sword has great details on it. You could put it inside. So therefore, and then the body, they, it looks like it's a bodybuilder. So you could tell he's a bodybuilder. And then the belt, uh, they did a great job. It looks like Batman's belt, but not similar to the one. But he, and then you can have him to pull on to his gun also for the pocket here and then whatsoever and then right here the little sword on it but without further ado you guys and then he comes with a little bit dog um, 
and colored ones, so that looks great on him. They did a great job. But yeah, you guys, so now we're going to remove his mask, and then we're going to put the accessories inside of him and see how he looks, and then we're going to remove his hands, so we're going to get a closer look at him. So yeah, so stay tuned, guys. And there you have it, you guys. So therefore, um, I feel like the mask was a little bit, the face was a bit harder to put on because, you know, it was hard to put his shit in, but I tried my best. But then I removed his hands, his fist hands, so therefore you can see that he's expanding his hands, so you can see. But I think he does look good on on it and then whatsoever. And then right from there, I think they did a good job. DC Collectibles, once again, did a great job on the mask. Um, excuse me, the face for Deathstroke. And then you can see he looks great. And what out for, yeah, he looks like an old guy. I think they did great, oops. But um, yeah, so I think they did a great job. And I feel like with DC Collectibles hit it on 10 out of 10. So yeah, so therefore you guys, um, we're gonna go for our final thought and then we'll go from there. So yeah, you, let's stay, stay tuned you guys. Now for our final thought, I feel like, you know, DC Collectibles did an amazing job with it. And you know, they did an amazing job with Deathstroke and all. And I really am glad that they made it. And you know, one thing is for sure is that um, DC has been making a great a lot of figures and all, and I'm hoping I'm now be able to you know, hopefully get more figures. But I do have um, Scarecrow on the way, and then, but you guys, yeah. So if you want me to do comparisons, please leave a comment down below. If you want me to do some comparisons with Robin and and or Two Face or or maybe Bane, that would be great. And then. And hopefully, um, if the price is good, then I'll pick it up. But without further, you guys, without further, you guys, I do appreciate y'all. Appreciate you all watching this video, and please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. Peace.